Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and welcome to this quick video post. In today's video post I want to show you guys a quick technique that I use to Photoshop something in from a different image into this image. So as you guys can see I've got this farmer guy sitting here and he has a lens and at the bottom we have a little bit of sand. So now what I want to do now is create some sand or actually get some sand that is pouring out of the lens onto the table. So how am I able to do that? It, that is is actually very easy I have got two images one image is like the final image that I want to use and my second image is just another reference where I can cut out some sand so over here we've got that shot and as you guys can see the farmer guy is again pouring a little bit of sand onto the table so what we're going to do is take a little bit of this sand or actually this image with the sand and copy something and then merge it into here alright so let's get going on that first of all what I'm going to do is pretty much keep my final image over here and I'm going to go over to my second image where I've just got the sand and what I want to do as you guys can see here I'm still on the original layer which is still a smart object I want to just duplicate that via command J rasterize that and then quickly on here with my marking tool just create or actually copy the area that I want to so I'm going to make a rough selection around the sand here and I just want to have the center of the sand not the complete sand so I'm just going to make a selection around here press command Z and command V so I duplicated it and pasted it again as you guys can see we have a new layer here and I'm going to take this layer now and bring it into my second or my final image so I'm going to go back over here to my second image, just move this a little bit to the side so I've got the two images next to each other and now I'm going to take this layer and just simply move it onto my final image and drop it. Then we directly have it into our final image and now I can Photoshop on that. I'm just going to minimize this here and make our first final image a full screen so we can work a little bit better on this. Okay, so I've got my layer uh, one over here, which is just the new sand. Quickly to just have everything constructive over here, I'm also going to take this, double click on here and rename that to original. Then I'm going to duplicate that by command J and rasterize that. And I'm going to call this layer again the retouch layer. So we can work very constructive and if we do a mistake, we can always fall back and just Photoshop on there. Okay, put those together in a group, command G. And we're going to rewrite that just R for retouching as well. All right, so now we're going to go back to layer one, which we can call actually sand. Okay, and the sand we're going to move over now just in the direction where we want it actually. Okay, first of all, what I'm going to do is with the sand, just take my opacity down a little bit and just to see where I can actually place it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer over here, hold spacebar, move around my image. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is just try to get the sand almost on the corner of the lens and also to pour onto the bottom here or on the top of the sand. So to get that perfect I would actually press command T to just scale my whole position here a little bit. Spacebar move around it was actually a little bit too big so I'm going to press escape command T again and again scale that a little bit bigger Okay, press spacebar and just move around my image and now I'm going to try to make this corner of the sand here almost in the center of the lens, almost over here. So I'm going to move that all over there and it looks quite good to me. At the bottom I can see I still need to make my sizing here a bit bigger here so transform that a little bit bigger. While I'm transforming I'm also holding shift and then moving the corner so I'm not distorting the whole position or the whole um, cutout that we have here of the sand. Okay, gonna move it over here, and now my image is a little bit too big as I can see it now. So I'm gonna press again Shift and transform it a little bit smaller again. Okay, move it over here, and it's almost perfect for my sand here at the bottom. Okay, gonna keep it over there, and that looks good to me. Okay, gonna press OK here at the top, and now I'm good to go. So next step that I'm going to do is take my opacity over here again to 100% and I'm going to make this a hidden mask. So go down here to your mask tool, press alt and click onto the mask and then you directly created a hidden dark a black mask which is a hidden mask as well. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is just move over here again, take my B, my brush over here brush and then I'm also going to change my foreground colors back to white and I'm working with the Vacuum Continuous 4 board so while I'm board I'm able to change my brush size here or what I'm going to do is press Control Alt and also feather my brush a little bit 
okay and then I'm going to select my mask over here and now I'm just going to brush in the sand that I want to so very roughly over here I'm just going to brush all over so I can see the sand and the glass a little bit so we're going to fix that in a little bit okay press on your mask again and change your foreground colors back to black over here and what I'm going to do now is just paint out these sides a little bit and fix the bottom a bit Okay, so zoom in a little bit closer over here, and also my brush is feathered quite a lot. Control Alt to feather your brush again. Okay, and now I'm just going to make my brush a little bit smaller, and just over here, okay, I want to feather it even more, say almost completely feathered, and make it nice and big, so you can paint very easy over here. And as you guys can see, I'm changing my brush size again. Okay, over here, I want to just get the original sand actually not too much of the new sand but I want to have this pouring effect here so try to work that in a little bit as well okay then over here going to take away his leg and also over here a little bit painting back the shirt a little bit more okay and also on the side here so now I'm just basically painting again on our mask just to paint that all back again okay and a little bit more and if I scroll down a little bit I can paint down here a little bit and now the first thing that I'm going to do is just zoom out a little bit to see if I'm pretty realistic and everything looks real which does look okay at the moment okay now I'm going to zoom in again a bit and now a little bit of a tricky thing first of all what I'm going to do is just blend off our layer that we copied or actually moved into this image here so sand layer is off and what I'm going to do now is take my pen tool and on the retouch layer I'm going to basically just put a few points here and just to get the lens quite nicely over here so we can just make a nice selection like for that okay and I'm going to close my path here of my pen again press right click make selection so we're going to make a selection out of this path uh, feather radius is zero pixel we're going to say okay that and now last step go back to marking tool not in the pen mode marking tool I'm going to press right click again and say select inverse so we're selecting the inverse and not the outside okay then I'm going to go back here to my mask and I'm going to select the black mask over here and now again to brush and now I'm just going to paint out the sand a little bit so over here very roughly I'm just going to paint away the sand a little bit I still want the pouring effect down here so I'm not gonna paint too much away there okay and press command D so we're out of the selection again okay paint away all of the rest here we don't want the fingers and all of that okay a little bit more rough here Okay, paint that away a little bit. And now I pretty much want to have it actually straight. I don't want to have all the sand coming from the top, so I want it more straight and then going out. So I'm going to go back to brush, control alt again, and just make my brush just a little bit feathered. And then I'm just going to very roughly over here paint all of that in. A little bit more and a little bit of the corners here. Actually, I'm going to feather my brush a little bit again. The secret is actually just to feather your brush quite a lot. Okay, then also here a little bit more. And then again, I don't want to have my brush feathered at all. To have a really hard edge, just to get that effect from the lens here. Okay, a little bit more. And then the last step I'm going to do is just fix this again. So I'm going to change my foreground colors again. And just in here, fix that a little bit. Okay, now I'm just going to zoom out to see if it looks more real or not. I can still actually fix this a little bit here on the side so it looks more like a pouring and round effect. So brush again, control alt, feather my brush a little bit. Okay, and make it a little bit smaller. Change my foreground colors again. And I'm just going to paint all over here, all over the sand, and a little bit more. Okay, like that. And it's pouring, pouring more gonna zoom out and that looks more realistic to me already if you want to you can still warp it a little bit and transform it a little bit but I think for the first step it looks pretty real already so here's our quick before and after or before and after and that was our quick technique today how to Photoshop something in hope you guys learned something from this quick tutorial my name is Manny if you still have any questions please email me to team at mannyphotography.co today thank you guys for watching and see you all next week in another quick tutorial bye bye guys